Well, dear Wiebe, well, it's clear from all what has been said, all what has been said first at today's symposium and now during the ceremony, that you have been a very exceptional, a very well appreciated, but also a very multifaceted colleague. The fact that we have to move to this church today to be able to receive all your guests says a lot. At times when there is a lot of discussion about impact, it's clear that in your case, your academic footprint has been huge. You have been contributing, as has been said at several occasion, occasions already, in a substantial way to a field that is now firmly established. At times when post route has been declared the 2016 word of the year, SCS is addressing questions that are more relevant than ever. However, the reason why I am taking the floor at the end of this ceremony is not to talk about your scholarly impact and the many prizes you have been receiving, however prestigious they may have been. My two messages are of a different nature, but nevertheless not less important. First of all, I would like to thank you. Thanking you for all what you have done for this faculty. You joined the faculty at the time, it was still the Faculté der Kultuurwetenschappen, and you really did a lot to, in, in shaping this faculty, in making the faculty what it is today. As a leader of the STS research program, you played a key role in putting this young faculty on the national and international map. As a former dean, head of department, program director, you have also been fulfilling several managerial functions through which you have served the faculty in many different ways. I had actually the pleasure to briefly be a member of uh, your department uh, back in 2002. And what I found particularly striking was the human touch by which you run your group. And it has been mentioned at several occasions already. What also was striking, I found, was your capacity to listen, as well as your modesty, to which the rector has already referred as well. In the meetings, you would never be the loud talker, but that did not make you less e effective or not, not less respected or not less influential, on the contrary. And all these qualities you have have been of huge value for all those working with you, and they are part of the reason why you ha have also been so successful and why there is this big ceremony today. Before moving to my second message, I would like to make a little detour and a detour of which I'm sure you will, I will have your full approval, because you already referred to it in your speech. I would like to extend my words of thanks also to your wife, Tony. As long as you have been a member of the faculty, she has been on your side, as you have been saying, and she has always been there, always been there to support you and to facilitate your achievements, and even, as you said, perhaps to, to save you from certain uh, dangerous es escapades. <laughs> so um, I think, Tony, you have also been of huge importance for our faculty, and thank you for this. My second message is an invitation. Although you have prepared many successors to continue your work and to spread the STS word, you will be very much missed. Knowing you and the passion for your work, however, none of us can imagine you sitting quietly at home. Even if you wanted to do so, this would be very hard, since several smart operators, such as the University of Trondheim and the WRR, are already appealing to your expertise. Still, I want to emphasize that the faculty door will always be open, and we cannot imagine that you will ever become the grumpy old man Harry Collins was referring to earlier today. Wiebe, het gaat je goed. We hopen jou nog heel vaak op de faculteit te mogen zien en misschien kloppen we af en toe nog een keertje bij je aan voor een wijs advies. Hartelijk.